Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well, and welcome back to Chelsea News, the series here on Football Therapy, where I look at the football media across the internet and stuff and give you the headlines related to Chelsea Football Club. Often, they are quite silly, but still, I'm here to give you my opinion and explain to you what they are saying. An evaluation of the rags taking you throughout silly season while we're here in lockdown. Today's a kind of midfielder edition, and I'll tell you why, because really there's only one story I want to talk about mainly, but it got me thinking about another player on Chelsea's book. So the player I'm going to be talking about today that's in certain headlines is Serge Milinkovic Savic of Lazio, of course, top tier Galactico level midfielder who has been linked with Chelsea Football Club before and he sort of surfaced a little bit again and I do want to talk about that to you guys because of course Chelsea have a lot of midfielders but this is a very very good one and on that it got me thinking about other sort of attacking offensive central midfielders Chelsea of course have a few but they've also got the likes of Conor Gallagher and most notably Tino Andurin who's just agreed a new long-term contract with Chelsea Football Club I want to let you know how good that kid is and why he's probably the next one off the conveyor belt to play more and more minutes in the first team. Of course, he's already made his first team debut with Frank Lampard this season. He looks like an absolute beast, and I want to tell you something about his numbers. So yeah, man, a midfielder special of all you lot out there in lockdown land. And you want to show your support to your boy here at Football Therapy? Why not subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit that bell notifications icon. It's important. Why not like this video to help me out? All right, mate, let's get on with it. Let's talk about the big Serb, Serge Milinkovic Savic. Apparently, Frank Lampard has been a big admirer of his for a long time. And you know what, man? That doesn't surprise me at all. Midfield maestro recognizes midfield maestro and all that. Well, both of them are more actually offensive kind of central midfielders that forced the issue and they were both you know well Lampard was quite aggressive and physical in his day as is Milinkovic Savage. So a quick rundown he's a central midfielder who plays for Lazio kind of attacking midfielder really and is 25 years old just sort of entering his prime now. Lazio are of course in a title race in Serie A this season if it is to continue they are one point off top which is Juventus at the moment they're looking very very good indeed and a lot of their good work is thanks to Serge Milinkovic Savage in the midfield. And you know what's testament to that? The big man has five man of the match awards this season already. That's right, the team at the top of the table ish. He's leading the way, he's getting all the man of the match awards. He's really imposing himself in one of Europe's top European leagues. He's doing a fine job. He's big, he's strong, he's technical, he's good in the air, and of course, he's a goal threat can definitely pick a long pass as well. Basically, he's an excellent midfielder. Recently, the Lazio chief, Igli Tade. Igli Tade? Maybe, that could be his name. <laughs> He said if Serge wants to leave this coming transfer window, it should not be a problem. Not surprising, I think a lot of transfers, if possible, will be sanctioned this coming window if everything goes to normal, because let's be honest, everyone wants to make money if they can. He's had an absolutely excellent season, they'll see value in that, they might try and flog him. So there's been a couple of news headlines linking him back to Chelsea today. And I saw and I went, hmm, another midfielder, another midfielder story being linked. But I did remember, I've done a video on Milinkovic Savage before because, yes, the papers had been linking him to Chelsea, saying Frank Lampard is an admirer. And although this is just paper talk like everything, it would not surprise me, as I've previously stated in this video, Frank Lampard is obviously one of the history's best attacking central midfielders. He'll look at this player and be like, damn, that's good. <laughs> So it wouldn't surprise me, but of course this does come back to the situation of Chelsea are flush for midfielders. So is it one of those all opportunist things? He'll probably see that and be like, look man, he's always saying Frank Lampard how he wants to bridge the gap to City and Liverpool. He said it again recently on that uh, conversation he had with the NHS doctor, which was an excellent little interview, by the way. He says, look, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bridge the gap. We're not just trying to you know play the kids we want to get the quality bridge the gap and maybe that is being ruthless and you know replacing Ross Barkley with Serge Milinkovic Savage I'm not a Ross Barkley hater I think he's very much at the moment got a place in the squad but it's that ruthless attitude just saying look bring in world class bring in world class put Serge Milinkovic Savage next to 
you know, Mateo Kovacic. If we do sell Jorginho, you've got Kante, Kovacic, Serge Milinkovic, Savic, uh, Ziyech and Mount all can play in the midfield. Do you know what I mean? All Chelsea fans have written off the idea of Chelsea getting a midfielder, and I kind of totally understand that. It's not a problem position. But maybe in the gaffer's head, in Frank Lampard's head, he's thinking, sure, we want to get a left back, but if we have the opportunity to get an absolute worldy in midfield to just impose themselves on the game, because remember, if you've got a superstar in midfield, they can run a game really well. It doesn't have to be a sort of regista, playmaker, Jorginho, Billy Gilmore type of player. You can slap a Serge Milinkovic Savage in there to dominate. You know, this is what we thought. <laughs> Tamiri Bakayoko would have done. I hate to bring the mood down by bringing him into it, but you know what I mean. Someone imposing, someone who could just put their foot on the ball, pick a pass, barge through people, win edits, score goals, you know, just take take responsibility. And anyway, I'll leave that one up to you guys to talk about in the comments section below. Would you like to see him at Chelsea Football Club? And how do you feel about him? Let's stick on midfielders though, because of course, a lot of people have been hyped uh, for the likes of Conor Gallagher understandably did very well on this championship loan at the beginning of the season gone to Swansea um, very very highly rated it's sort of looks like a decent goal threat central attacking midfielder and you could forgive people thinking he's the next sort of one to break through I think he's very good but to be honest the three players that I think are next up are probably players that haven't even gone on loans. Armand Abrosia, I think he will be part of the Chelsea first team next season because I think he's going to be useful for cups. Maybe even bench appearances like he came on against Everton. I also think Ian Matson at left back, who's either signed a new deal or is about to. He, I think, no, no, he has signed a new deal, forgive me. I even reported on it. This is just so many things going on in my head at the moment. He will back himself to be maybe even the rotational left back for next season. Very highly rated little fullback. And the player I want to talk about, Faustino Andrin. Tino time Andrin. Built like an absolute beast, Tino. 18 years old. Cat, very much a cam. I think he can play out wide as well. He is built for English football. He is built for the Premier League. Very, very highly rated. And throughout the youth competitions this season, Tino Andrin has scored a bunch of goals. In fact, across all youth competitions this season, 22 appearances, 17 goal involvements. 17 in 22 appearances from, you know, midfield. That's incredible. Granted, it's at youth level, yes, but if you look at the physicality of this lad, he is built like a beast, basically. And if he can take the physicality of the first team football, he knows how to score goals and assist goals. It's in his DNA. So, so young, only just turned 18. Basically, this kid's the next one for me. Agreed a new long-term contract till 2025. Locked down for another five years. Already made his first team debut under Frank Lampard and Jody Morris in the Premier League as well. I think we could see more of him next season. And to be honest, I think Conor Gallagher should go on another loan, really prove his worth doing more excellent work like he's been doing. But I think Tino Andrin could be the next player to drop into the Chelsea first team in central midfield and demonstrate while the Cobham Academy is absolutely a masterclass. Anyway, it's really, really exciting to watch the Chelsea youth come through. There's so, so many blinders now. And obviously with Frank Lampard at the helm, you can expect to see them more and more going into next season and beyond provided Frank Lampard remains Chelsea manager. But on top of that, you've got the other side of the spectrum, like superstar signings, like the aforementioned uh, Serge Milinkovic Savic. Sprinkle a few world-class quality players in between and you could have a special special project indeed which hopefully will be the case with Chelsea Football Club so I want to get your thoughts and opinions on the stuff I've spoken about in today's video these two players hey maybe even comment on the other Chelsea youngsters you want to talk about I'll be down in the comment section below but let me know what you think of Serge Milinkovic Savage. could it be a good opportunity to buy an excellent player in excellent form in perhaps a financial climate that affords Chelsea a cheaper transfer fee for the player? Or do you think, look man, just don't try on any central midfielders, just get a striker and a left back? Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed the content I've provided for you guys today, please do like the video 
that means a lot. Why not subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new? Uh, go subscribe to my second channel where I do daily live streams and just extra video content. You might like it. Link in the top of the description. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that sadly is not happening at the moment. And I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.